Welcome to the Sports Betting Preview Podcast from pregame.com for week of December 23rd. I'm your host, Marco D'Angelo, 30 years in the business. I'm joined by Vegas Runner, the one and only professional sports gambler featured on the CNBC Special on Sports Gambling. Thank you. How you doing, Vegas never Runner? Better. I never even thought of it that way, Marco. Thank you. This is segment one of six, and it's a big game preview. We're going to take a look at the Emerald Bowl between Boston College and Southern Cal, as we always do. Oh, wait a minute. There's an empty seat. The seat's empty. The seat is empty. Our, regu- the our regular host, R.J. Bell, is not here today. I, you know, it's, I don't know. Is, is he away for the holidays? Well, he, he is away for the holidays, but, you know, I am the GM of picks. And this show is about picks. You run it. And, you know, I mean, I'm looking the records over, and the one thing we strive here at pregame is we don't settle for, you know, mediocre. No, no. You, not you, at you all. You could be mediocre elsewhere, not okay. here. Okay. You know, in our free pick section, you know, Vegas runner, depending on when you bet last week's game, your pick, you're 10 and 2, 10, 2 and 1, or 10 and 3. Right. I'm 13 and 4. Whoo. And RJ's. Seven and seven. Oh, so with that's Vig, a good drink. With, it's a good drink. With Vig, with Vig, you're losing. But we just we can't tolerate that. So. Not on the video. No, maybe so, maybe on the audio, but, but, but not video. Not, so not seven and seven. Vegas Don't runner and camera. myself, we we had to make it. We had to make a decision. You know, I mean, it's majority rule here. It's three of us, right? And we're two thirds of it. So RJ's so, now in Ohio working on his mechanics. We got right. We right, got him. Do, do we have live? Do we have live? We're gonna feed? go live. Let's live go on live location to on RJ Ohio. working on his mechanics. And let's check in on RJ Bell. Brandon, can you get that link for us? That was what, wonderful. What, what, what do, you, do, you, do you think we'll let? Should we let him back on the show next week? Next week, next week. We'll let him back. Week. He'll we'll, back you know, for the New Year's. For New Year's. For you know, everyone I, gets I, a, I, Everyone gets a clean slate on New Year's. But everyone gets to start okay, fresh on we'll, New we'll Year's. We'll let him go. But you know what? This could because as of 2010, this could catch be, on. As of 2010, he'll be at 100. percent Okay. He'll be 0 and 0. His, so, his, well, okay, we'll do that. We'll let him we, back on for we the wanna, new year. That's what we don't want to put the pressure on him to have to finish that, 2009 with a losing exactly, record. Exactly. Exactly. Good, you know, here you know, now you could that's say that's why they featured now you on CNBC. Now you could say you got a couple of those seven wins or seven losses at even money or plus 105 maybe. Yeah, okay. So you maybe didn't even lose money betting his free plays. All right. Well, you know, I guess we had enough fun with R.J. Bell this week. What do you, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, let's get I know, let's talk. I, let's talk BC, USC. Okay, let's get to it. You, you know payback's going to be a bitch next oh, week Oh, I can't for us. wait. I can't wait. <laughs> this is the Emerald Bolt, correct? They're it playing is. it in San Francisco. Yeah. Um, USC opened up eight-point favorite. With a total of 46 and a half. As of this morning, USC's down to seven and a half. Not much of a dip because it's not a key number yet. But the total has taken a significant drop down to the key total of 44. So definite money coming in on the under from the wise guys. Public doesn't bet this early on bowls, but I will tell you. Any bets they have taken from the public seem to have come in on the over yeah. um, in this game. But look, myself breaking it down for the show, these defenses are tops in the nation, at least in points allowed. I mean, talk about not allowing points on the board. You got Boston College 18th in college football and USC 23rd. So these are two of the top 25 defenses in points allowed in the nation going against each other. And the one thing I want to add about bowl games, you'll see a lot of them 8-4 Eight and four versus eight and four, nine and three versus nine and three, because the bowls are, are are pretty much created with teams of of exact records to meet each other more Second or less. Second place finishers, exactly, third place finishers exactly. In this, what yeah. you need to do, what you got to do, is go back and look at the strength of schedule for each of yeah. these teams, because there's a lot of difference between an eight and four and an eight and four many times, and this is one of those cases. USC with the sixth strongest schedule in college football. 
you, uh, where Boston College is 45th in the country, and against top 30 teams, Boston College is 0 and 4. So uh, that's why they're getting eight, seven and a half points, and they're both coming in with the same exact record. Well, the other thing that you got to look at in bowl games. Now we're taping this on Wednesday before Christmas, right. so there's already a few bowl games in the books. True. And if you guys listen to what we told you about the early bowls and the dogs, oh yeah, you made money because already ahead. Yeah. Wyoming, we, we you know we talked about Fresno State. Was their goal, to, you know, to be in a bowl game the first Saturday? Exactly. The first Saturday against Wyoming. Wyoming. <laughs> against Wyoming, yeah. <laughs> Wyoming was the motivated team. They got they got the money. Is you know RJ always asked me, Marco, what's the one thing that jumped out at you in this game? Well, the one thing that jumped out. When is the last time USC, that Southern yeah. Cal played a bowl game that wasn't either the national championship or the Rose Bowl? Or or again, yeah, not on New Year's Day. I mean. The odds makers, the the BCS, not the BCS, but the AP poll, the USA Today poll, all got it wrong. The odds makers had USC the third best team in the country preseason coming in, mm -hmm. and and remember they didn't want to bring them down. I mean they had to totally get beaten um, for them to adjust for USC. And you know how much we know LVSC loves this USC team. Right. And even now they still got him at 25th in the country. BCS got him at 24th. Where, where does the motivation come? The other part is they don't even travel out of the state. Now I know they always play in the Rose Bowl, but it's the Rose Bowl. That's yeah. a big game. They're going to play in the San Emerald Fran, Bowl yeah. in San Francisco. I just don't know how Pete Carroll gets this team motivated to play in this game now granted you know talent wise southern cal's got more talent yeah of course you know up and down the schedule but boston college they've got one advantage they've already faced a pro style offense this year when they played notre dame so they're going to be a little bit better prepared and they held their own against that yeah, notre they dame they held notre dame to 20 yeah, points that's yeah. one of the few lowest Point yeah, totals yeah. that Notre Dame had this year. That offense was... Yeah, even when they lost, they put yeah. up points. So, you know, coming in here, uh, Boston College, you talked about their defenses. They've held six straight opponents to 106 yards rushing or less. In, in the ACC, they, they do yeah. like, to, they like to run the ball. So, I mean, it's a difference in conferences for sure, but if you, you take that equal, you know, the equalizer in this is the, the motivation for Southern Cal. And here's a stat that uh, it's not happened that often, um, you know, in the last 10 years or so, it's only, they've only been in this situation seven times, but Southern Cal has lost all seven. USC is 0-7 against the spread as, um, in road games in the month of December. Now, normally their bowl games are in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those, all those don't go. So really the only games that this would apply to is whenever they would play UCLA that right, last right, right. you know that last season. Saturday yeah, yeah, yeah. if it was in December or an early bowl game that, which is what we have what we here. got right here I'm interested to see how these quarterbacks um, play this game because we're looking at uh, one is a situation that's pretty rare for a bowl game you got two freshmen going at it I mean obviously one's touted as, as one of the best ever to come out of high school Absolutely. football. I mean, the kid Barkley, from what I heard, the high school he went to, a junior has never started. Mm -hmm. Never started. And this kid walked on as a freshman and started as quarterback right. for their high school. So, I mean, you know, he's bred to be a stud. But I wasn't impressed by him this year. 58% completions, 13 touchdowns, 12 INTs. And they said he was interception prone in high school. So I, I saw that continue this year. And with the running game that, that Boston College, I mean, that um, USC had going early on at least, um, I was surprised he didn't do a lot better than he did. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be a chance. I think this Shinsky kid from BC is going to want to come out and showcase his skills because his stats are right there with Barclays. So mm -hmm. I'm really interested to, to compare the quarterbacks well, in that game. we got to wrap this up. Uh no official free pick I really you. don't. I really don't. Yeah. I, if anything, Slight, right now, if they were playing lean. the night, I'd have to take the dog. I'd yeah. have to take the Same points. with me. Slightest of leans to Boston College. Um, this is going to uh, wrap up this segment. Next up, we'll be previewing in the NFL, All Houston right. at Miami. And remember, you can download all of our videos at pregame.tv 
or if you want to download and listen, go to iTunes and search for pregame.com.